Hey there, everybody. It's Aubrey here. There's something so satisfying about perfecting a product. We here at SparkFun aim to give you the easiest and most user-friendly experience possible when using our products. And oftentimes, that comes down to the minute aspects of interacting with a board, whether that's hardware or software. Well, we've heard your dislikes and likes loud and clear and have spent time perfecting the board that many of you use as a starting place for your projects, the SparkFun Redboard. All that I can say about it is that it's chef's kiss. Let's take a look at what perks make this SparkFun Redboard earn the plus in its name. The SparkFun Redboard Plus is run with the AT Mega 328p microcontroller with the OptiBoot bootloader. The OptiBoot bootloader is advantageous in many ways. It allows larger sketches. OptiBoot is only 512 bytes, which frees 1.5K of extra code space compared to older bootloaders. It makes your sketches upload faster by operating at higher baud rates and has streamlined programming. And it has performance improvements. OptiBoot implements fast boot that starts sketches immediately after power on. The SparkFun Redboard Plus also comes equipped with 32 kilobytes of flash memory and a 16 megahertz clock speed. The USB to serial is now done with a reversible USB-C connector with through holes anchoring and the ubiquitous CH340G USB bus convert chip which requires fewer driver installs. It also has a built-in resettable PTC fuse with five volts or two amps. Thanks to SparkFun user Red Squirrels' sales pitch, we've added a 3.3 volt to five volt logic level switch. Now you can select the GPIO voltage between 3.3 volts and five volts easily with just your finger, which is handy for you if you have a shield or 3.3 volt sensitive device. The SparkFun Redboard Plus comes equipped with all the hardware peripherals that you know and love. 22 digital I.O. pins, 6 PWM outputs, 8 analog inputs, 1 UART, 1 I2C, 1 SPI, 1 Quick Connector, and A4, A5 jumpers. You can power the SparkFun Redboard Plus over with 5 volts via the USB-C or through the barrel jack. The onboard power regulator can handle anything from 7 volts DC to 15 volts DC. For voltage regulators, we provided the LM1117 adjusted to 5 volts and the AP2112 for 3.3 volts. It provides 600 milliamps to daisy chain multiple quick boards and sensors with full thermal and reverse circuit protection and added extra decoupling capacitance to increase the sensitivity of the ADC readings. The SparkFun Redboard Plus has a 2x3 ISP header and it's compatible with the Arduino Uno R3 shield footprint. Then there's the minute changes that I mentioned before. We've improved the reset button with an increased height, and we've decreased the brightness of the power LED, pin 13 LED, and the TX RX LEDs from blinding to just perfect. It's the little things that matter. The SparkFun Redboard Plus takes all the best parts of Arduino and takes it up a notch by adding features and components that allow this board to do most anything you could want a microcontroller to do. Plus, with the ubiquitous USB-C connector and a quick connector, you could add nearly any peripheral sensor or board that you could possibly imagine. So, when you're looking to start your next project and you're looking around for a board that's going to propel you into it, make sure to have your SparkFun Redboard Plus handy. Get yours at sparkfun.com today, and of course, happy hacking. Oh, are we recording? Yeah. Oh, great. Okay. Um, cool. Well, and today we're going to talk about this and we're going to do a good job talking about this. <laughs> hey there, everybody. It's Ava here. What am I doing? Okay. The board's right there. I'm right here and I'm going to talk to you right now through the camera lens. There's something so cool about this <laughs> job. Let's do this again. Okay, one more time. I'm sorry, Cassie, oh my god. That allow this board to do nearly anything you could ever want a microcontroller to do. That was weird to say. That was close.